Hi everyone, Liz here. Thanks for stopping by. So today I've got a completion review of my Winnie the Pooh and Tigger 2. Okay, so it was a lovely canvas to do this one, a little 30 by 30. Um, all fully complete now, so it can just be hung up on my wall. Um, or I've got it stood on a shelf at the moment. It doesn't need ceiling. There's no need to seal it because it's going to go in uh, the bedroom. But I think you can see there, look, look at those little faces and all the detail there and all the shading. Okay. Now, I did have some problems, um, I will be honest, where some of the canvas wasn't as sticky as it could be. Um, and I was finding that the drills were continuing to stick uh, to my pen rather than to the canvas. <clears throat> now, if you remember when I did my kitting up, I did use the wax cover sheets. So I'm not sure whether it's because I used the wax cover sheets and possibly they had some dust on them. Um, they've got onto the canvas or whether they've taken some of the sticky off I don't know so the next one that I do I'm not going to use the cover sheets and see I have got another 30 by 30 that I will be kitting up um, after I've put this one away um, I have bought another little box of 30 uh, bottles but where I've put it I have absolutely no idea it's in one of those safe places that will eventually turn <laughs> But at the moment, I don't know where it is. So I need to get this one down before I kit up my next one. But you don't need to know that. Maybe you do. Anyway, so that's those. So, yeah, so that's what I'm going to do. But, I mean, it hasn't taken away from the fact that these are fully stuck down. I don't love, I don't, do you like feeling your canvases once they're done? I just love running my fingers over them and just feeling all those drills. <laughs> oh, dear. So, yeah, so that's Winnie the Pooh and Tigger 2 all completed and I loved doing it. Um, took me a couple of days. I did do it in the sections rather than doing it a colour at a time. Um, because I tend to find if you do a colour at a time, you can get a bit bored if, say, you're doing all the blue. Or unless you do all that first and leave your best bits, which is your nice little Tigger in Winnie the Pooh. But look at that smile of little Winnie. That's really, really sweet. Love doing that. So, yeah, so he's all completed, ready to just go on the wall. I do like the fact that they are already done for you. And you don't have to then go hunting for frames. I think that's one of my biggest chores that I have is looking for frames and then finding one that fits. Um, because some canvases that come, they tell you the one size, but actually the drill area is a different size. So then you have to look at mounting it because it doesn't fit in a frame properly. But these are all the thought has been taken out of it for you. And you can just hang it straight on the wall, which is brilliant. So that's Winnie and Tigger all done. So let's get these drills put away. Oh, it's already open. Oh, dear. So, yep, so there's my little key code. Yeah, I've got pool written on there. That will go into my little logbook, uh, which tells me where I bought it from, what it is, and how long it took me. Okay, so where are we starting? We're starting at... A, get my little tray just in case because you know what I'm like for spilling and this is my super duper drill storage which is lovely um, I've just been Rebe watching Rebecca again for kids at 147 and she has been just um, updating her storage a little bit so yeah Rebecca has been revamping hers and putting some extra bits in so I may or may not do it she's put some extra little bits in whereas I've got my little black cards um to mark out where it's like 200 300 stat she's put some extra little bits of foam board in and it does look really good she's very very clever a very good clever lady at doing storage um so yeah I do tend to pinch her ideas so thank you Rebecca and Megan okay so let's start with a which is 165 Okay, these are all rounds. Uh, Craft Buddy do tend to do all their canvases in rounds, which I do like rounds. I think squares give you more detail if you've got a bigger canvas um, because it does cover the whole canvas and particularly for like faces and things like that. If you go on the really big canvases, then they do show up. But uh, certainly rounds. Oops, just a second. Oops, so I just got slightly interrupted 
because I've just received some flowers from my lovely friend Jan. But look at those. And these are all put together in a beautiful bouquet, all beautifully wrapped by my little surrogate niece, as I call her, who is Fiona, uh, Wild Flower, Flower and Thistle. Um, I'll put a link to her um, Facebook uh, page and everything on there. Got my name on there, look as well, but aren't they beautiful? She's just got her own little business. And she just uh, does flowers. So that was a nice interruption. I don't mind having to run downstairs and answer the door to get something as beautiful as that. But I'm very lucky. So thank you, Jan, for sending them. And thank you, Fiona, for putting them all together. Look at the colour of those roses. Absolutely beautiful. And I love flowers. One of my favourite things are actually flowers. I'm no good with plants. So, yeah. Okay, I'll just go and put these in some water and I'll be back in a minute. Okay, and we're back. Goodness me, that was a lovely surprise. I have some very nice friends. Okay, so that's the first one done. Let's have a look at the next one. Just three, five, six. Uh, little Fiona used to come round, well I say little, <laughs> uh, five, six, yeah, come round to my house uh, when she was younger and we used to sit and make cards and craft together and uh, we used to go to a card making class together as well, I used to go and pick her up and take her, so yeah I call her my surrogate niece, <laughs> we actually share the same birthday as well, many years apart of course, she's a lot younger than I am, but uh, yeah, and I'm just so pleased that she's now got her own little business. I always knew she was very arty and uh, very good at craft and a real good eye for things. So, yeah, it's lovely to see her doing well with her own business. And those flowers are beautiful. So, yes, I don't mind interruptions for things that are so pretty. <laughs> okay, let's crack on and get these done then. So... Four, three, four. Okay, so I hope everybody's doing okay. That you all had a nice weekend. My eyes are so tired at the moment. We're not getting a huge amount of uninterrupted sleep. But that comes with caring and that's just part of the job. So things do get a little bit easier. Four, three, six. Okay, let's have a look at this one. Yep, that's fine. Getting some new ones. Oh, hope you didn't hear that. My tummy's rumbling. And it was a rumble, it wasn't anything uh, coming out. It was just a rumble in the tumblum. Four, three, seven. Yep, Millie came upstairs to see where I was taking the flowers and then she's back downstairs again asleep with uh, Dad, keeping an eye on him, which is fine. Nurse Millie's on the job, then we're not doing so bad. Okay, where are we up to now? I think we jump a bit now, yeah. Oh, look at it, the right way, Liz. 6.06. That would have been disastrous if I'd have put it in 909. So 606. Yeah, that's a good red colour, bright red colour. Okay, I think this Siron sticker maker, although it makes the little labels sticky, it doesn't over stick them. So at the moment, I'm not having to fight to get them off, which is good. Because I've no nails. <laughs> Oh, 666, the one that always makes me laugh. As I've said before, I'm sure somebody had a wicked sense of humour when they named this bright red 666. But it's a really good highlight colour, really bright red. Six in rounds, right? So, where are we now? 701. Look, I don't know if you'll be able to see these. I'm trying to keep them in camera. 
in there. So if I go too far up, then you won't see anything. <laughs> okay, 701. Now, I have bought some new crystal art stamps, and I was having a play yesterday at uh, stamping out some of the images and using up some of my spare crystals. So that will be coming soon on using spare crystals. 740, because if you're anything like me, well, that's a square, we don't want them in the square one, Liz, we want them in the round one. You will have a lot of spare crystals and drills. Uh, I don't have, well, I have quite a few colours of resin drills. Oh, this one stayed in the bottom there, look, get out. But, uh, oh, that one doesn't want to stay out there. That's it, just give it a little nudge. That's it. Uh, yeah, so. Yeah, but it's mainly uh, all the coloured crystals I've got because I do do a lot of specials and I do a lot of the craft buddy cards and they tend to have quite a few specials in as well. But they must be in the order 728. I'm going backwards in numbers now. 727, 728. those in there. That's that one. And what's the next one? 744. Yeah, I must just put those back in the wrong order. <laughs> At least the label would say it's not quite so good. I know which way I'm going. Oh, they've got a bit static. They all stuck to the bottom of that one get some little if you get a tumble dry sheet and just cut it or tear it into little squares and just put it in with your drills it does take the static away and stops them from jumping everywhere now we're up 775 oh that's a very different color to that one but anyway that's definitely 775 so you will find with different manufacturers you get slightly different colours sometimes, but that's okay. Um, if I do need an extra drill or some spare drills, then I can just dip in and get the ones that I need. If you just tip them out in a tray, you can see which ones there are. 783. Yeah, the other day when I was doing a picture, um, I managed to tip two different colours into the same tray. So I just thought, hey, her, they were quite different colours. So I just sat and did the two colours at once out of the same tray. And then there was a lot less to separate out when I'd finished <laughs> to put away. So that wasn't so bad. But I just thought, oh, no. And I could see myself doing it. And it all seemed to happen in slow motion. I was just tipping them in thinking, no, this is the wrong colour. Anyway, it all came out all right in the end. So we're up to 9.06 now. So... Yeah, they're in box two, so I'll put box one away and we'll get box two out. They are just on my shelf next to me. It's fine. So, oops, excuse the noise. Right, so where are we up to? 900 and we were 906. 906 is a nice greeny colour. Nilly huffing at the door underneath the door at me. Oh, and now I've got the crying. I just have to let her in. Not to come in. Hello. You coming in? Are you staying in or are you going out? I'll have to close the door because Daddy's got the telly on and we don't want to get into trouble for broadcasting things that we shouldn't be. Oh, now she's going to have a good rummage through my bags. There's some bags on the floor. Um, I've got some bits that I've been sorting out that I no longer need. So I'll let uh, friends have a look at them. And then if they don't need them crafting stuff, then they can go to the charity shop. Really? There's no food in there. You're just having a rummage. And there's none of your toys, I promise. I wouldn't dare give your toys away. She has her own little toy box. 
and it's just absolutely chocker full of toys and when ones have been savaged to within an inch of their stuffing then uh, we do try and sneak them out and put them in the dustbin but we do it on dustbin day so she can't smell them in the dustbin so that they've got rid of straight away <laughs> okay and it looks like now we're on to the three threes so where are we? 3325. Yeah, we've still got some in here. 3325. You can hear the crinkling. She's still having a good look. She doesn't believe me. She's still sniff, sniff, sniffing. I was going to say it keeps her quiet, but actually that's not a quiet pastime, is it? Crinkling in bags. <laughs> okay. Where am I next? Three eight one eight. That jumps up quite a bit. On to three eight. We might go into box three on this one as well. So now she's going to try and get under my desk, which at the moment has some, some more boxes. Oops. Just finish that one. Okay. And I've just been shouted by a hubby, so it's going to be one of those days. So I will be back in a second. Hi everyone, I'm back. Right, so we're quite a few days on now. Um, I got to the end of my video and when I came to edit it a couple of days ago, <laughs> I realised that I'd not pressed the record button when I came back after answering the door again. So I finished the last few bottles in my container and put all those away into my storage. So they're all now done. So that is now empty. Um, the only other thing I wanted to mention was that the B5200, which is the white drills, which should look, oops, hang on, that colour in this kit, unfortunately, for that colour. I think you'll remember when I did my unboxing, um, I did say, oh, they're an unusual colour. They seem to be all different colours and I've not seen that before. I hadn't realised that there were the B5200s, um, so they should be the brilliant white. Now, I think there has been a problem, obviously, at the factory um, and we have just got a little bit of a different colour. But on this kit, it's worked out really well for me. If you do get a problem getting touch with craft buddy customer service and they'll help you out with that um but yeah i mean this has worked out really well for me there are an odd white one in there but because the white was the clouds i think you'll see that um it's sort of like giving an extra shimmer because clouds aren't all white are they they're quite a few different colors and a few different shades so it's given me lots and lots of sh different shading in here and I'm really pleased with how that effect has turned out to be fair. So a happy accident shall we say. <laughs> I mean I will get in touch with Craft Buddy um, and let them know that obviously there was a problem with the drills with this kit but as I say it's worked out really well for me and um, yeah I like the fact that the clouds have got a little bit different colour, a little bit different depth on them. So yeah, that's my Winnie and Tigger, now we're all finished. Sorry it's taking so long to get this video posted. Uh, as I say, Hubby is now home from hospital and things are a little bit up and down at the moment, shall we say. Um, there's quite a bit of extra stuff to do at the moment, but uh, he's doing fine, he's doing well. So yeah, so I'm getting a lot of diamond painting done at the moment. I'm just not able to sneak away and do much filming. So you'll have to bear with me with my filming. But yeah, you'll get to see an awful lot of uh, post reviews and completion reviews because I am doing a lot of diamond painting at the moment. Okay, well, I hope you've enjoyed that. I'm sorry about the... Uh, sorry, that was one that just escaped there that I just noticed. Uh, I'm sorry about the bit of disjointed disconnect with this video. But... Uh, Give me a like anyway, what the heck. And if you want to see some more, then if you subscribe, you'll be notified of the next videos that come out. So thanks for watching and I uh, hope to see you all again soon. Bye for now.